please, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <sighs> okay, so this morning we're going to start wiring up the go box. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, the video footage works. Um, maybe we'll start with the loudspeaker and amplifier. So I'm going to deinstall this board firstly, which is the power board. Take that off, give myself a bit more room. This is the amplifier module, and here are the uh, two speakers. You can't see this on the video, but uh, I'm just looking to work out where the various connections come from and to. Soldering iron on. So we have two, this is a stereo amplifier, 2 watt stereo amplifier. We have left speaker and right speaker outputs. And we have right input and left input over here. 12 volt ground and the switch for turning it on and off. Um, I suspect we're not going to use the switch, we'll simply provide the 12 volts, the in and the loudspeaker connections. Cables are quite small. Move those out of the way. Here are the two uh, loudspeaker connections. So we have plus and minus, plus and minus, so that we keep it in phase. Uh, we, we mustn't mix up the phases of the, uh, the loudspeakers. So I need to just get a little bit of hookup wire. So we've got it to wire these speakers up. One moment. Okay. So I've got various bits of cable. I'm going to use this um, multi-core cable for wiring for hookup wire. Uh, we, we don't need much in the way of length. So I shall choose the colours Cut a chunk of that off. And decide which colours we're going to use for loudspeakers. Um, probably won't use black. Black is more normally used. So I'll strip that off. That's normally used for power. Uh, but I've got kind of two colours here. I've got a kind of uh, grey and white. That could do for one loudspeaker. And I've got a blue and purple. That'll do for the other loudspeaker. So that's the way we're going to do it. Um, we'll have blue as the ground terminal and purple as the positive supplier. Um, so blue and purple and turn it over. This is the right hand speaker. 8 ohm speaker. So let's just strip the strip the cable. There we go. Quite good these uh, strippers are. Not have them very long. They're a bit cumbersome, but uh, they do work. Um, always tin the ends of the uh, cable that you're going to solder. I need to get some more solder because I'm kind of running out. So make sure you clean the solder tip. Wipe it on the solder pad in the ends of the cables. Gently uh, blow the flux fumes <laughs> away. <laughs> oh dear. And we can 
I'm going to use purple for positive cable. Keep it as still as you can. And then we'll measure the length to the speaker. We want it as neat as we can. That'll do. Chop it off. Split the cable. Now we're going to tin the ends again. Notice I've got the panel on a foam pad to try and keep it in reasonable condition. Right, having tinned the ends, I'm now going to cut the ends off. I don't need that length. We'll just solder them from the top then for amplifier. And we now have to do the same with the second loudspeaker to connect it to the other channel of the audio amplifier. Now we've used white and grey cables in this situation. So it's exactly the same. We simply need to strip the cables, tin them, Twist the ends firstly, so as you don't get stray filaments of wire. Clean the solder tip. Tin the ends of the cable. Get rid of the excess solder. And then in the ends of the just check our schematic which you can't see because it's here on this computer screen uh, that all looks all right so I now need to look out and wire up um, the input side which is these three here uh, they've got to go through to a plug um, that plugs into the rig. So, I shall be back shortly. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.